Did you know that you can reduce your hand strain and improve your life by changing your keyboard? Hello and welcome guys, I'm Alessandro Belli and if you are new in this channel we try to improve ourselves in tech and as a software developers. Smaller keyboards are better for ergonomics because they reduce the movements that you do between your keyboard and your mouse, reducing the strain on your shoulders. In addition, smaller keyboard, they have a better reach for each key so you can type faster and reduce every movement. All in all, reducing physical discomfort, improve your productivity and in the long run, your health. The story starts a while ago while I was uh, reading some articles on which keyboards are better for you because I was a pain in my wrist, in my shoulder, so I was just looking for that uh, anyway and my Logic uh, B keyboard was still working so I didn't have to buy anything, but then it broke. I started to search for a new keyboard actively. I found out there is a huge world of mechanical keyboard passionates. There are hobbyists, there are people that do them DIY. Everyone is sharing their setup with self-made keyboards. That means they do the casing, the PC board, so that electronic thing that connects every key to the computer. They install the keycaps made in 3D by their own printer. Also, I don't know how can you use these keycaps to type. I'm really curious and they are cost quite a lot, but they're really beautiful. What I ended up buying is a Vortex Tab 75 Bluetooth keyboard with the option to connect it via USB-C cable. This keyboard has a robust case in plastic and it's slightly tilted, so I guess it's for ergonomics so you can reach better the keys. There is a thing a bit weird on this keyboard. It actually has batteries. And at first I said, what? In 2021, there are devices that use batteries? But then I thought, actually it's better for the longevity of the keyboard because in two, three, four, five years, the battery will shrink the longevity. While if you have actual batteries that you can replace they is still always performant and it's really good because i can't wait to bring this in my future trips when this pandemic ends with the package i got some keycaps replacement and i already replaced the ones with the directional key so yeah i'm kind of a gamer and i also have a second channel about gaming that i will continue to do soon and I also replace this and I will show you here my keycaps that are in the package. It feels good when typing. I love these clicky feelings and it feels rewarding. I really don't want to stop typing. See? It's not it's not bad. Um, and now we'll also show you a closer look. These are blue cherry switches, these ones. And I will link you in the description another video where it explains really, really well the difference between switches. And this is a mid sound and feeling. So they are way harder sounds and way harder feeling when you type, but also way less intrusive. Buying this kind of keyboard brings you new experiences because you can buy new keycaps. So you you don't want to see this color scheme. You want a new feeling. You can get new keycaps and you kind of have a new keyboard. And also the size is perfect. It's 75% of a normal keyboard, but still has some uh, new keys like a home button and page up down and and the directionals which I really need especially for uh, video editing and programming a little bit of a downside looking at the keyboard you might think uh, maybe the dirt doesn't pass because it's really tight well yes it does uh, I already cleaned it once and I have to clean it soon I will continue to search what's the best way to clean this mechanical keyboard so if you're a bit lazy and you don't want to clean I don't know how, how frequently, probably once a month if you type really, really frequently, so don't take this one. 
So I already said this keyboard has a 75% layout. It keeps some keys, but it doesn't have some of them. So you need to get used to a new layout, which in this one is a US layout, which I don't use. <laughs> And you might think, how can you do that? The keys are not enough. Well, you're right, they are not enough, but I found a workaround. So I spend most of my time with the Italian layout, which I know by art. And sometimes I also use the German layout for some special characters. Uh, also, I know that by art, but still I need some more keys because I miss them. I'm a software developer and I missed it ch these chars, which is minor and major, so yes, right? If you're a programmer, you know that these are really, really important, especially, you know, if you program in HTML5. It's not, it's not a programming language. What I used to add those keys is a Microsoft Layout Creator. I didn't know it existed, but there is a way to create your own layouts and install them in your computer. For me, I use the Alt-GR. I don't know exactly the, the Alt on the right. Then I use the comma. I need to check. Uh, so the Alt on the right and comma to produce this sign and the Alt and dot to produce the other sign that I really need and it works. And I call the layout Italian with less and more, which is a stupid name, but it helps me to understand that it's my layout. So you can check the link in the description. I will link my layout and some more instruction on how to install it. I don't know how can I use it with Mac OS replacing the keys because I might need to create another layout there. I don't know, I don't think you can export it for Mac OS with that software. But for now I'm using it on Windows and it works. And of course, if I connect it to Mac OS, it works as well, but I don't have those keys. In addition to create a, your own layout on Microsoft, you can actually program the keyboard to replace other keys as far as I know, you can replace one key with another. So I mean inside the Vortex tab 75, there is a programmable buttons. Um, it's actually pretty complex um, because I think it has three different layouts. Then uh, you can switch between those, but then you need to um, switch one key with another. So I'm not sure really how it works. I'm sure there are cases where it's really useful, but for me, it's too complex. I, I did this layout, it works, I'm really happy. If you're thinking to buy a small keyboard, I can definitely suggest you this Vortex Tab 75. It's a bit costly, but uh, it's hopefully is uh, an investment that you do for you and your health. And hopefully with a little bit of maintenance st uh, keeps working years. If you even want smaller keyboards might be even better because you reduce the strain on your shoulders, on your hands, and you can check even smaller than 75% if you don't mind losing some keys. You might be also interested in a video on how level up your work with gaming or how to build a computer for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching and see you the next time. Bye!